What if in days would it feel like months? Been gone for a year, only know like once. Life moves fast when you do what you want. I guess I'm doing what I want. Hope you know what you want. Welcome back. So we are now at Changi International Airport in Singapore. Look at this beautiful, beautiful airport. It's so beautiful. Can't wait to see everything that's in here. Um, so look at the chairs. Um, so even if you're in transit, you can use these chairs to relax or you're waiting to connect or to your next flight. Um, they're very comfortable. Um, I love the space and I love how everything is fresh and green in here. So here we go, come with us. Pushing Gabby webbing. Excuse me. Wow. Singapore Airport is really beautiful. Um, it's got lots and lots and lots of uh, artifacts. You've got things to see, especially when you're with uh, little children. Um, there's a lot of flower gardens and um, you get to enjoy the art and the beauty of the airport. So lots and lots of photo opportunities uh, at Singapore Changi Airport. Look at this. You've got goldfish in there. Um, and there's also lots of other activities that we're going to try to do this time around. So yes, enjoy Changi Airport. So in order for us to get to the other side of the airport, it's really quite big. We had to take an um, airport train to, uh, to take us to the other side of the airport. Um, and yeah, it was quite an easy process. Just followed instructions and here we go. Guys, this was a must see. So, this is the butterfly garden. Um, it's, um, it's the place to be if you're uh, waiting for your international flight to go home. It's in, uh, located in Terminal 3, it's very easy to get to. Um, it's a very very warm um, place um, so the temperature in there is quite warm for the butterflies so don't wear your jacket uh, and just be careful as well when you're walking around not to step on any butterflies um, there's uh, lots of visitors and um, it's just the place to be if you've got young kids they will definitely enjoy um, the butterflies so have a look at this so they're just everywhere beautiful beautiful different butterflies um, different types of butterflies um, as you can see um, so you actually get to see all the stages um, from cocoon to um, the actual butterfly um, and feeding them pineapple 
those slices so I, they must like love pineapples I guess uh, look at that just yes so please 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 when you are at uh, transiting through Changi Airport Singapore make sure you visit the butterfly garden it's inside the international airport terminal 3 and it's for free so why not very very warm temperature in there but I enjoyed it I just think personally butterflies are very beautiful so hope you enjoyed that uh, still at the airport we're about to go have some lunch and then we'll check in at the transit hotel for a little while have some rest and then catch our next flight tonight just have a look at this beautiful fish Not big there.
All I can say is that Singapore Airport is one of the most beautiful airports in the world. What do you think, Makayla? It's big. And what about the stuff that you can see? Food. Oh, besides food. <laughs> gifts. Besides gifts. What? The butterflies, the everything. <laughs> what do you think? Wow, wow, wow. So the Fort Street is located a level up from the main uh, concourse area. Once you reach the top of the escalators, you are faced with a bank of menus from the various food stalls. And then once having made your selection, uh, you actually now have to head bank and pay. So you pay first um, after you choose and then you go back once they call out your number. As for me, I ordered my favorite, which is fried rice and some roast pork and my gang ordered Burger King. Um, so yes, I enjoyed my meal. Sorry guys, I didn't get much content. I was so exhausted, ended up having a nap. And then we woke up to catch our next flight, which is Singapore to Australia. So come with us and uh, enjoy the vlog. Oh. <laughs> So if I remember well, this flight must be 9 hours and I was already counting down before we even left Singapore. That's how much I was dreading the flight. Uh, but yes, it was not that bad. Actually, Gabby ended up catching a wee nap and I had a chance to watch a movie and have some rest. So not bad at all. Yes, I uh, had a bit of rest which I really enjoyed. On this flight, we were served with dinner and I chose uh, mashed potato and some beef and I had a bit of dessert as well, which was fruit. So yes, good meal. guys we are yes more than halfway through so we've already done six hours and we're not too far from sydney so counting down every hour um before you know it we'll be in sydney australia Days, but it feels 
We have touched down guys, uh, we landed safely and Australia as usual the sun is out shining, the weather is beautiful, it's nice and warm, my kind of weather. So let's get out of here. Australian smokes. Ladies and gentlemen, the next event is arriving on board Qantas Flight 8 service from Dallas Forward. You will make a Carabao Carousel on the way. Gabby screaming for her bottle of milk. These are the joys of traveling with a toddler. So we got a taxi van from the airport to the hotel that we're going to, which was not too far from the airport. So it took us probably a 10 minute drive just outside the airport. Um, so not too far. And um, yes, it was a good drive. We needed some rest because we were going to catch another flight, our last flight in the evening. So we had uh, probably, probably about six hours of um, layover time. So we thought we'll just have good rest and give Gabby and Michaela a break and then catch the next flight in the evening.
so the flight uh, from Sydney to Christchurch is about three hours it's not that long but hey remember we are actually flying uh, ahead of time um, so here we go Fast and do what you want. Like this, I'm doing what I want. 